Ryan McCarl. I'm the founder of wordbrewery.com. Wordbrewery teaches languages one sentence at a time using real sentences from the news. And each sentence is filled with high frequency words at different levels. I want to show you a new feature that we've just developed that I'm very excited about. So I'm currently looking here at the Word Brewery blog. We're going to have to go to the main website, wordbrewery.com. So once you're at wordbrewery.com, you can click get started. You need to register. You can do that with either Facebook or Google or email. It is free to study up to 50 example sentences per month. And after that, we ask for you to join and become a member. The default mode in Word Brewery is explore mode. And the purpose of explore mode is to study sentences that are filled exclusively or almost exclusively with high frequency vocabulary within one of these different difficulty levels. And each difficulty level primarily represents a range of words on the language's frequency list. But what I want to show you is a specific new feature. The entire concept of, of Word Brewery is based around studying words in context and never in isolation and never through rote memorization. Every time you click a word in explore mode, you're going to get another example sentence, as long as we have one in the database, which we usually do, because we have millions of sentences. Each sentence is from a news source. You can click the newspaper icon, like I just did, and you can find this, that sentence somewhere in that article. So what I want to show you is how to make a list of example sentences automatically that contain a particular word that you're trying to learn. It's a great way to learn different conjugations, for instance. For that reason, I'm going to demonstrate it with a, a common problem faced by people learning Spanish, and that is different conjugations. One of the things you have to deal with is the most common verbs in Spanish, ser and estar, which are two forms of to be, so is, are, and so on. But they're used in different ways in different contexts, and there's many different ways to uh, conjugate them. So let's go up to the search box here. You can look up a word, make sure that you have your language set to the particular language, and I'm going to just type in ser, uh, which is the most common Spanish verb, and it means to be. You could just keep clicking ser over and over and over and see a whole bunch of different example sentences with it. But what we're going to do is actually create a list. This is a, a feature that is a little well hidden in our current design. What you have to do is look over here in this place that we call a, the word information box, which is to the right of the sentences. Next to the audio, you can see this little pop-up, this little list icon. You'll get a screen that looks something like this. Provide a number of sentences in your list with the lemma ser. How many example sentences do you want of ser? I'm going to say 30. Okay. And there it is. You've successfully created a list with the lemma ser. So I'm going to go up to my list page. It's example sentences. I'm currently on word lists by default. i got to switch over sentence lists. The list I just made is the one at the bottom, which is a list of sentences containing words with the lemma ser in different forms. Uh, because I looked it up but with the lemma, ser, instead of the conjugated verb like es or somos, the list that was created for me is going to contain all sorts of different forms and conjugations of the verb ser. So this is my list, and it was just made for me automatically. I can run my mouse over it to see Microsoft and Google translations. Those are machine translations. They're not perfect, but the purpose is just to serve as sort of a crutch to help you check your understanding when you need it. There's various things you can do on this page, like listen to the audio. As you can probably hear, we have professional native speaker voice actors for Spanish. And as we get more members, more support, more social media shares, and more visibility, we will continue to add native speaker audio for, for other languages. You can export it to a CSV file. A CSV means comma-separated values. You can then import that list of example sentences and their accompanying translations into a spreadsheet program. You can also import it into a flashcard program such as Anki, it's A-N-K-I. I want to show you one more thing here, which is the PDF. We're still working on, on this. What I would like to do is create printable flashcards, and I think we should have that pretty soon. What we have now is a pretty nice looking printout of your list of example sentences, and then the, the two machine translations for each one. 
It's a pretty cool study tool if you were trying to learn how to conjugate a verb or really you know, drill a certain word that you're struggling with. If you read and study 20 or 30 sentences with that word, you'll learn it. You'll know it well. You'll know it to some degree fluently. So I hope you find this tool as useful as I find it. I use it myself to study Japanese and other languages. If you think that word brewery is helpful, if you agree with us that people should study real sentences and not fake sentences, not dumbed down sentences, but rather real sentences written by native speakers for native speakers, and that people should study languages and vocabulary in context, not through real memorization. We need your help. The site costs a lot to develop and maintain. We don't have any outside investors or funders. We rely on you. We rely on our members, uh, people who, who purchase subscriptions, people who make donations, people who mention us to their fellow language learners and teachers use us in their classrooms, mention us on social media, or share our posts. So if you like what we're doing and you'd like us to be able to keep doing it and building new tools and improving as quickly as possible, please consider going to Word Brewery, certainly trying it out, but hopefully also purchasing a subscription and becoming a member. You can also help quite a bit by doing something as simple as liking this video and sharing it. Thank you very much for your time.